Ask Reddit by M0 Rutisha which celebrity do you think was unfairly cancelled? Paul Rubens, Pee Wee, he was alone in an adult theater. Who gives a shit? The way I'd casually heard about it growing up made it sound like he whipped it out in the AMC during a Disney movie surrounded by kids. Blew me away when I found out it was so mundane. Raunchy? Yeah sure, but nothing to destroy a career and reputation over. Brendan Fraser. Dude spoke up about being sexually assaulted and was never heard from again until recently. He seems like such a good guy so I'm glad he's back in the spotlight. They almost got Terry Crews too for the same thing. Eartha Kitt, Catwoman in third season of Batman. Got blacklisted from Hollywood for calling out the president at the White House about the war. Ed it was not first Catwoman. Apologies. She still managed to pull off an amazing isma. I'm not very sure if this counts, but Richard Jewell. Man found a bomb that colder killed dozens, maybe hundreds of people, became famous for finding it, before the media said, hey, we need to sensationalize this story. How about we blame it on the textbook overweight white wannabe cop? Richard Jewell it is. Dude never had a good reputation even after he was found innocent after someone else took responsibility for the bomb. He died at 44. Deleted. Janet Jackson. That was double extra unfair because not only was Justin Timberlake not cancelled, he played the halftime show again, in Minnesota in 2018. The 2018 halftime show should have featured Janet performing with Justin and everybody involved in the 2004 shenanigans apologizing to Janet. Instead we got just Justin. Wasn't Rose McGowan cancelled for basically calling out the shady shit that Harvey Weinstein and others were doing? Myra Sorvino and Ashley Judd were also blacklisted because they spoke out about his abhorrent behavior. Corey Feldman literally warned about child abuse in their business and was speaking from experience and was shut down and that cunt Barbara Walters said you're damaging an entire industry. Here is the footage, https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark dscm 7 nefu 5 w close bracket. If your industry is damaged when you expose pedophilia, maybe it's not a good industry to be in. Barbara Walters is an asshole. I don't know the context, but I appreciate your directness. Sinead O'Connor and Corey Feldman. Folks can't stand the truth about Pettis and the Pope. F at K Barbara Walters. I'm surprised nobody has said this, but Richard Gere. The man was really popular as an actor until he mentioned the poor treatment of Tibet by the Chinese government. He's a Buddhist and dear friend of the Dalai Lama. He narrated the DL's book The Universe in a Single Atom. And the book is brilliant and so is Gear's reading of it. Sinead O'Connor. All she did was let people know about the Catholic priest sex scandal before people wanted to hear it. All of it was true and even worse than we could ever imagine, and she was crucified for it, pun intended. Brendan Fraser. He didn't deserve to be cancelled at all. What was he cancelled for? Brendan Fraser. All I want is for him to star in cheesy PG rated jungle movies again. Courtney Love for calling out Harvey Weinstein. As I understand it, there are still a bunch of gatekeepers like Weinstein running around Hollywood. That piece of shit Weinstein got a lot of people cancelled if they didn't sexually satisfy him. It was only after they sent the jackass to prison that Ashley Judd was able to find work again. Apparently Ashley doesn't suck a disgusting gorg stick for work. Go Ashley. Monica Lewinsky comes to mind. She does a pretty good TED talk about how cruel public shaming can be. HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark of H underscore 8Y0WLM78U. 
I think it's unfair how long it took to cancel R. Kelly. Is he cancelled or did authorities finally arrest him? Just saying Chris Brown might still be out there. Brendan Fraser. Spoke out about Hollywood weirdos and sexual abuse and then bam he was cancelled. Sinead O'Connor. All she did was protest the Catholic Church's cover-ups of pedo priests on live TV. Sure she ripped a pic of the Pope, but the church was covering up tons of incidents of pedophilia committed by its priests. Moving them to new churches instead of kicking them out and reporting the crimes. She ripped it. Not burned. Gary Condit. He was a congressman from California who lost re-election because a lot of people believed he had something to do with the disappearance of a woman with whom he had been having an affair. So many people piled on him, including Trey Parker and Matt Stone on South Park, who ripped him a new asshole as being guilty of murder. It eventually came to light after the woman's remains were found that she had likely been randomly attacked and murdered by a serial rapist. Years later, Parker and Stone admitted they owed Condit an apology, though they never actually apologized to him directly as far as I'm able to determine. That's wild. I always thought he was saved by the media cycle, since 9 stroke 11 happened and everyone forgot. I never knew they found her. Monique Got paid $50,000 for her Oscar winning performance in Precious, because she was friends with director Lee Daniels. When the film was released and started getting Oscar buzz, producers Tyler Perry and Oprah tried to get her to do a ton of press tours and basically campaign for Academy Awards. She refused, saying she was paid to act in the film, and that is all. She, deservedly, won the Oscar, but Oprah and Tyler basically had her blacklisted in Hollywood. Oprah is worth 2.5 billion dollars. Fuck, Tyler Perry is worth 1 billion dollars, apparently. Fuck both of those assholes. All the women and there is quite a list who got blacklisted when Harvey Weinstein didn't get his way. The Dixie Chicks. Tackin' it old school. Pretty cool that after the shit show of people hating on them for disagreeing with Bush, they made a killer song about it called Not Ready To Make Nice. I make my bed and sleep like a baby. With no regrets and I don't mind saying. It's a sad sad story that her mother will teach her daughter that she ought to hate a perfect stranger. How in the world can the words that I say send somebody so over the edge that they'd write me a letter saying that i better shut up and sing all my life would be over that's badass and is another great song in their repertoire i don't care if he's already been mentioned 500 times repeating for the people in the back Pee Wee herman rachel nichols a female sports reporter on a great run on Espen was spied on from a camera being left on saying that Espen's policies for minority representation should not supersede her contractual obligated work, hosting the NBA Finals. She did not say anything bad about Maria Taylor, the person Espen wanted to switch her with, and any other minorities other than the policies themselves were a result from Espen's poor diversity choices. I totally agree here. I think the spin on that was super ridiculous. I like Maria Taylor and Rachel Nichols. But people were acting like she said something racist when she totally didn't. She was pissed that her contract wasn't being honored, and she was totally right in her frustration. Lindsay Ellis. Deleted. No Billie Holiday? No Eartha Kitt? The Ogs of being cancelled for speaking out? Come on now, not only did they cancel Billie Holiday they fucking destroyed her. What's the story? Jenna Marbles. Will forever miss Kermit and Irish Spring Saga. Chris Brown. So unfair he didn't stay cancelled longer. I don't even think he was ever really cancelled. Dude still sells tickets and wins awards. 
fatty arbuckle. Really a sad story. That is a wild old Hollywood story that I have no idea what to make of. I know Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton came to his defense, but it seems like a lot of people still thought he did it. George Michael. A public bathroom may not be the beat place to get freaky, but at least it was consensual.